everyone, it's Sharon here. Today I've got a bit of a different video. I'm taking part in a collaboration together with Michelle Short and Kim Dello. Kim recently designed this fantastic stamp set for Paper Artsy and the three of us thought it would be really good fun if we each used Kim's set to come up with some a project. All three of us have got quite different styles so we thought this would be quite fun. Here's the stamp set. As you can see, there's some fantastic images. I'm going to use this line for my main feature of my card, but I'm also going to use some of the other stamps. As you can see, Paper Artsy stamps come in red rubber and they're already mounted. So this is the finished card and I've just selected the lion stamp, which I'm going to stamp onto this white die cut circle. So I'm just pop the stamp on my acrylic block. You can't really tell so well from the video, but I've die cut the circle using this fantastic die set for my favourite things. It's called Wonky Stitch Circles and it's got a really fantastic sort of stitching around the edge. So I'm inking up the Lion stamp with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm using Memento because I want to use some Pro markers to colour him in. So this will um, ensure that the markers don't react with the ink. Now I'll speed the video up here because I'm not doing anything particularly complicated with my colouring. I've just got three shades of brown. I've used tan, um, caramel and the darkest is umber. And then I've just used, um, I think it's grey, ice grey too, just to give a bit of shading underneath. And all I've done is I've used tan for, for the head and body and a little bit of caramel to give a bit of shading. And then for the for the sort of main, I've used um, the caramel and then used the umber to add some dark shading. And I've literally just sort of added shading around the, the bottom of the main and then just blended it together with the caramel. As I say, I haven't gone mad with, with lots of detail because this isn't a very big image and, and it's, you know, it's such a cute image really. It doesn't need a lot of fussing about with it. So now I've got a piece of craft card that I've cut just slightly smaller than my card front and I'm inking up one of the images using some Colourbox Frost White ink. This is my favourite white ink and as you can see I'm just testing it on a bit of scrap card before I start. Sometimes with white ink, particularly if you're using clear stamps, you need to sort of ink it up a few times and stamp it off for the ink to kind of fully absorb into the, the stamp if that makes sense. But I've noticed because these are a really good quality red rubber, it it stamped perfectly straight away. I, I guess there's obviously a difference in how the the ink sort of pulls on on the um, stamp between rubber and clear. So the the way this stamp has been designed by Kim is fantastic because you can rotate it and kind of fill in all the spaces quite easily, but without the pattern sort of repeating obviously. So it's very clever. So I've stamped that all over and that'll take a few minutes to dry. It's really easy to smudge that white ink because it's pigment, it's it's quite slow drying. So I'm going to pop that to one side and then I can get the rest of my bits and pieces together for the card while that dries. I've die cut from craft card a smaller circle using that same My Favourite Things Wonky Stitch Circles die set. And now I'm going to stamp the word shine onto this circle to give a sort of little greeting for the bottom corner. I'm stamping this with Versafine Onyx Black ink. This will give a nice crisp image. So I'll just stamp that. And then I'll pop that to one side just for a few minutes and I'll start putting together the rest of the card. Now I've die cut from a different set this circle which is from this fantastic glittery card which is self adhesive from um, I think it's a do crafts one and this time the set I used is my favourite things stitched mini scallop 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 is it scallop or scallop you eat scallops and it's a scallop I think <laughs> anyway from the stitched mini scallop set um, which is really pretty I thought it would just give a contrast and the sizing of it meant that there was a nice border from the wonky circle die to this one so I'll pop my craft card background directly onto the card front and I was just looking at my hands there to see if I had white ink all over them 
and as, as I said these are self-adhesive these glitter sheets so I can just peel the backing off and pop that straight on and then because the glitter's got some texture I'm going to use a wet glue because I think that will be a bit of a stronger hold and also it means that I can wiggle it around if I don't put it down straight which I'm bound not to so I'll just pop that on that line is just so cute I love him I'm just adding I noticed that the shadow because I did use quite a light grey pen once it's dried it goes a bit lighter I think it needs a bit more so I'll just add a bit more shading underneath him and then I'm going to pop the shine in the bottom and I think I'm going to put that on a foam pad just so it's got a bit of dimension. So I'm just using a bit of foam tape for that. And I can pop that on. And then as a final touch, I'm using some of the Nouveau Tonic um, Nouveau, I think they're called Crystal Drops or something. And I've got black, which looks like black enamel. So I thought that would be great to just give, give um, a bit of extra. I'm doing his eyes and now I'm going to go back and do his nose. Sorry about my head getting in the way. And I'll pop that aside to dry. And that's my card finished. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I'll In the description box below, I'll put links to both Kim and Michelle's videos too, so you can pop over to see what they've done. It's been great fun doing this collaboration, so hopefully the three of us might, might do some more projects in the future. And thanks for watching, and please don't forget to pop over and see the other girls' videos. Bye.